Fat loss is hard, whether you're a new parent or just someone with a busy schedule. Heck, it's hard if you have all the time in the world, but it's important. It's important because as we age, carrying extra weight on our frame is brutal on our joints. It wears out our body and it reduces mobility. In the first video, I talked about how to use your core and properly align posture so you can work towards a pain-free future. Today, I'm going to share what I believe to be the fastest path for losing weight. So let's jump right in. Daddy, 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 daddy. Losing weight comes down to basically two things, calories in versus calories out, or the calories we eat versus the amount that we move. For fat loss to occur, there needs to be a gap between how much we eat and how many calories we burn. We can increase that gap on how much we eat by restricting calories through changing our diet or by fasting. I'm not going to talk much about diet since there's a lot of information out there, but some quick points are to drink more water, reduce refined carbs, and to eat more protein as it's been shown to aid in weight loss. Also, I'm a huge fan of fasting and I'll talk about that in a future video. Those are ways we can change our calories we take in. So let's talk about how we can change our calories out and turn your body into a calorie burning furnace. Our body burns a certain amount of calories every day just by keeping us alive. This is called our BMR or our basal metabolic rate. These are our survival calories. We also burn calories just by going to work or running errands. At the end of every day, we burn on average Let's just say for this example, 2000 calories a day. This is called our total daily energy expenditure. And it's the number that I want to focus on for the rest of this video. Your total daily calories burned. The best way to lose weight is to increase the total number of calories we burn every single day. Let me explain. Often I hear people talking about wanting to lose weight so they decide to start jogging or by ramping up their cardio. And that's fine. But just remember, cardio means heart. What happens when we do cardio exercise is we essentially just warm up our body, burn calories for a duration. Then after that session is completed and we've cooled down, our body more or less goes back to where it was before that exercise. Now let's talk about weight training. What happens when you do weight training is you basically rip your muscles. And when you add weight or resistance to movement, you are doing what is called progressive overload to your muscles. You do the movements, your muscles rip, then your body essentially uses protein to rebuild the ripped muscles. Not only do you burn calories when you are doing your movements during weight training, the extra benefit is even after you've cooled down, when you're laying in bed at night, your body is actively recovering, which burns calories. So once you've cooled down, your body is still working hard. Muscles take 48 to 72 hours to recover. And this is very important because it means that on the days following exercise, our bodies are still burning calories, even though we aren't doing anything. That important number I talked about earlier, the total daily energy expenditure, that number is going up all by itself. Let's quickly do some math. Hang in there with me, okay? Say you do a 30 minute cardio workout three times a week. And during each session you burn 300 calories. This equals 900 calories in a week and 3,600 calories burned in a month. Since 3,500 calories equals one pound of body fat, you will theoretically lose one pound of fat a month by doing cardio. Now, let's say you do a 30 minute full body workout three times a week. And during each session, you also burn 300 calories. But since you continue to burn calories the rest of that day and on the days you don't work out, let's say this bumps up our average amount of calories burned to 2300 a day instead of our usual 2000. This means each week we burn 2100 calories or 8400 calories a month or roughly 2.5 pounds of body fat. 
well over double what we burned doing cardio. Now don't quote me on those exact numbers, but that is a huge difference. The point I'm trying to make is that by doing extremely effective exercises, we can use our body's ability to rebuild itself and use that to our advantage to skyrocket the amount of calories burned on a daily basis. And here's the best part. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do these efficient exercises from your home using no special equipment at all. So stay tuned for that. If you liked today's video, please thumbs up on the video and sub if you haven't already. Also, please share this video with anyone you think that might benefit from this knowledge. I would really appreciate it, and they might really appreciate it also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Sad Life. <laughs> Dad!